um, then we see a backstage segment, which, you know, I don't normally need to bring up all these backstage segments, but I felt like these ones were kind of important. Yeah, bring enough. up the important ones. I like that. So Sammy and Sammy goes to the backstage area. He finds the Bloodlines dressing room, knocks on the door, and Paul Heyman comes out. Um, he's looking for the bloodline so that they can like discuss strategy is what he said, because Sammy was facing Kevin Owens in the main event. And Paul Heyman says, no, they were sent home. Roman said, you know, you got this, you, you don't need them, blah, blah, blah. And so um, Sammy was a little bit upset about that. And uh, eventually he ends up buying what Paul Heyman said. And um, the, the most noticeable thing that I took from this which I'm sure mm. you caught it too, was once Sammy walked away, Heyman's smile went away and it was immediately like to disgust mm. and like annoyance. So again, I, like yeah. I've said already, I feel like it's another Easter egg. It's another planted seed that something is going on and it continues through the main event, which we'll get there later. But yeah, I, I noticed that and I was like, hmm, hmm. what does it all mean? Yay. What does it all mean? What do you, you know. mean? What do so you what, mean? So what do you think? Oh, I... It's absolutely setting up a a riff. And that was an Easter egg where it's like, oh, he's going to turn... The bloodline's turned on Sammy. It's about to come. There's no one coming to his aid. Heyman's mm -hmm. making facial expressions. But then, you know... I'll get to it, obviously. I don't want to spoil the surprise. But the main event changed my my thought process of that. Uh, okay. So, See, and I feel like I it was... still it goes along with my feelings. So Kevin Owens, he was interviewed backstage, and Sami Zayn decided to come in and was like, what are you doing? Why are you here? Why are, why are you, like, so obsessed with me is basically, like, what he was saying, um, saying that he won't leave him alone. And... Owens was like, you know what? Everything that has happened has been because of Roman. You need to stop like putting that blame on me. I didn't have, you know, I didn't come to SmackDown. You guys came to Raw, ran your mouth. I responded. I didn't want the tag match with Cena against you and Roman. Roman wanted that match. I didn't want to face you tonight. That was Roman. So again, this is another thing where I'm like planting the seeds. But what I like is we're seeing you know, maybe the beginnings of the ending for Sammy with the bloodline. But I like that Kevin is still involved because it's like, I have to. I'm, I'm, well, I'm curious to see how far that goes. If it's going to be like, he's in it till the end and it's going to be something where Sammy and Kevin Owens like team up together to turn on the bloodline or to do something. You know what I'm saying? Like, whereas before it didn't seem like that, but because Kevin keeps popping up and he even like came out to like, defend sammy when he was being obliterated in the ring um and when kevin asked for the the match at the rumble it almost is like okay what are we doing like so i i feel like that adds a a, a bit of an exciting part because i think everybody really does love you know ko and sammy together oh it's it's lightning in a bottle i mean remember their feud with shane mcmahon that was all time their feud, well even their feuds together like that was some of the most oh iconic matches in nxt during that era so absolutely oh i couldn't agree more they have it's there's just some people in wrestling where i think the phrase is like your wrestling soulmate or your ring soulmate mm -hmm. whatever it is yeah and that's them too you know it's just yeah they were sometimes it's your best friend growing up or whatever the case was for them when we interview them we'll ask but i was gonna ask you while we we're talking about it, do you think when he gets back into you know not the bloodline we get drunk uncle theme drunk uncle I sammy hope, again i hope so because i hate his current theme i yeah i'm not a like fan it. of it like the man needs to just dance around it's awesome well because i feel like i it, it just feels like something that someone did on garage band in like eighth grade you know like where it's just like they started it off with something and they're like you know what it'd be really cool if i just like stopped this here and like put a different song after like the Beat first 15 drop. seconds yeah and then it just changes and it's like what is this like it doesn't go together yeah. and i mean i understand he had to change his song this was his song i think when he was do first doing the conspiracy theory stuff so like it's been a while but oh my god uh, i hope while. we get the you know 
I feel like that's a song that like you can't change kind of like with Becky Lynch. Like Becky can't change her song. No, you it's can't. Like, you know. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so I felt like there was a good back and forth between Kevin and Sammy. Um, they're obviously very well acquainted as we've talked about a million times. Um, they always have good matches together and for a little bit, Sammy got the momentum and it looked like he was, you know, closing in and getting that win. But of course, in predictable fashion, we have the Usos and Solo Sokoa show up. They Ooh, interfere, no. which then got, uh, Sammy disqualified. And um, they did then progress to beat up Kevin Owens. And Sammy was visibly bothered. Um, yeah, he was sad. He was a sad boy. But I, you know what? I think it's, again, it's deeper. He's wondering what Roman is going to think about it. He's going to wonder, like, there is Roman's going to think that I asked them to come here or they don't think that I oh, can actually that? get the job. Yeah. They don't think I can I'm get going. the job done. What is Roman going to do? Like, is he going to be upset about this? Like, you know, um, is he going to think I'm trying to be him? And th this is what we've, we've talked about this before. He's so good at selling, like being believable in those subtle moments. It was like, you genuinely believed him and could tell it like the Usos trying to, to cheer him up and like assure him that it was okay it just felt so believable and sammy is just so good at just being like okay yeah yeah like but yeah i i don't know i don't you know you didn't think it was he felt bad that like, they just beat up his ko for no reason no. and no okay I mean, I don't think he cares. He was just about to win. I think it was more about the fact that, oh, you have to think about earlier in the night when Paul was like, oh, yeah, Roman sent them home because he was like, yeah, you can do this. Like, you don't need their help. Like, you've got this. You got Kevin. And then he was like, OK, so I'm going to do this alone. I'm going to prove to the tribal chief that I can do this by myself. I'm going to okay, yeah. I'm going to make it up to him for losing mm -hmm. the tag match by beating Kevin by myself. And then, like, asserting my my dominant role once again in the bloodline. And then by the Usos and Solo coming out, to that, to then it makes it seem like they didn't believe that he could actually get it done. And so then he's questioning himself. And then it's going to be like, did Roman tell them to come out yeah. here? Like, does he not think I can do it? You know, or did they decide that on their own? And how's Roman going to take it? So there's yeah. a lot of layers there. There are a lot of layers to that, which I like now is that it's giving giving the audience something to to talk about, giving us something to talk about here. And I and I even think of what you said of oh he'll think Roman will think that they just came and I and I called them out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think of that because it's like, oh, I thought he went that way. But that's a really interesting point that because Sammy's such a you know, I don't want to say simp, but he is like, you know, <laughs> um the adopted child yeah. in the family where it's just like he just wants to be loved and he there's no ulterior motives. The redheaded stepchild. It, literally at this I point. I know. And, yeah. um, you know, and, and now it's like, all right, Roman's had enough and he wants to end things, but he's just blissfully ignorant, you know, just ignorance is bliss for him. So he's just all in on the good. Like, how could they ever possibly turn on me? Yeah. Because I'm so in. Look what I did for them at War Games. Look what I've done for them to keep his titles. You know, so that is going to just make that payoff so much sweeter when it happens. Yeah, I'm really excited, and and we're seeing a lot of these seeds planted, and I think that we're, I think it's going to continue to happen. It's going to be slow because obviously Mania, it's Mania season, but Mania still what is it at the is it in April this year? Yeah, I think it, so. Last year, I think it was at the end of March. No, so it it's is still in April. Cool. It's my cousin's wedding weekend. Oh, okay. So it's still quite a ways away. So yeah. I feel like they would have to wait for their first match. Like, let's say Sammy versus Roman for the titles. They have to wait till Mania for that. Like, they can't have it be a rematch, you know? Um, mm -hmm. You want to have... You want it to be good the first time. So, um, oh, yeah. So that, that was SmackDown. <laughs> 